What is Gucci? Mario Kart Double Dash for GameCube. The best fucking game ever invented. Alright, so let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about drugs. Now, I haven't made a video in a while. And with good reason, too. I don't know if I told you guys. But... Someone, a kid in Oregon overdosed on 25i and they made a news report about it and they went on YouTube and searched for it and they put my video on the news report and they were like saying it's like a dangerous new trend among teens like and they post about it on the internet and they put my video on a news channel. Well, I mean, it was like a local channel so I wasn't freaking out but it turns out that it happened to be shown where one of my relatives lives in the same towns that my relative lived in. So my mom ended up not hearing about it and um, then some of my relatives knew about it. So then I knew I was being, like any video I put up would be like seen by someone I knew. And I started thinking like, you know what, like I don't want someone to come across one of my videos and think like, oh, that sounds super fun. Do like too much and, and overdose and die. And I, I would feel so guilty for that happening that I feel like I would happily turn myself in. I mean, if it came to that, like. So what I'm trying to say is that I noticed when going back on my videos that I hadn't really done the proper introduction and in saying like, you know, this isn't safe. Like, I don't condone you do this. It's just a personal account. Um, it's not a safe like chemical. So hopefully by saying that more in these videos, I can make up for, you know, whatever damage was done, but, like, I really, uh, don't condone you take 25i or Benadryl or any, like, phenethylamine type, like, hallucinogenic, chemically made, like, drug because you never know what you're getting and it's simply just not safe. There's not enough research done on it, um, you don't know what, if there could be birth defects or something or long-term effects. So, um, if I had to be more honest, I would say that I personally think that the use of a plant such as shrooms or weed is, um, somewhat like a religious right, a spiritual right of any human being. And if you want to use a, one of those in a safe environment, that's what you want to do. Like, um, I mean, I can't condone you doing anything illegal, but if you are going to trip and you want to experience what a transcendental state feels like you don't have to take some weird party chemical or something that you know could have long-term effects so i don't know i'm kind of just uh, ranting right now i took it out of all but um yeah i'll get back on here with some more shroom trip videos start talking more about weed and talk some talk some politics talk some shit about society philosophy we'll get try to not be so oriented about just you know how fucked up i got that one time or how you know like there's more to be um gained from certain experiences than just like oh i've seen something cool or something you know you can better yourself as a person and i've used shrooms in high school and it made me quit weed for months and like straighten my grades out and you know kind of uh be a better person than I so I uh, I don't have anything really bad to say about that but as far as the 25i I'm debating if I should take off some of my videos and kind of restart and only put up videos with like me playing a video game or some shit because having my face attached to some of these reports like you know it could it could affect my my career in the future and everything like if it wasn't for the fact that more people actually like wanted to see more than not as far as I could tell then I wouldn't be doing it but I mean if there's people out there that want to hear a story like it's not illegal for me to tell you about my past experience whatever so I'm trying to just kind of stay strong and like you know not not kind of give in to what other people kind of expect from me um I mean I think I 
condone, you know, having the freedom to do what you want if you're not hurting yourself or someone else. And um, I'm kind of a libertarian, like, with that view, but at the same time, um, some of these these drugs really are not safe. You don't know what you're getting. You probably do get something other than what you think you do, and you do not want one of your family members have to find you die because you took too much because then that's just going to go towards the message that all drugs are bad basically so I think that I need to start being more responsible with the video making and give the right give the right um I can't think of the word right now I'm barely baked give uh the cl disclaimers right disclaimers but anyways yeah I'm gonna hit you with a a shroom trip report and maybe some some more reports i'm gonna keep it more just reports and stories and uh you know that's like just keep it with that and i'll try to change that i mean i'm just gonna start putting disclaimers so that people know that you shouldn't do this you know i do it so that you don't gotta i do it and i tell you that it ain't all what it cracked up to be and you don't gotta try it like I mean, someone might really like a TCI or something, and you might like it the first time or some shit, but, I mean, these aren't drugs that, like, you just want to be doing every day in huge amounts. Like, there's a quote by Alan Watts talking about psychedelics. He says, psychedelics are kind of like a phone call. Once you get the message, you can hang up. And this is, this is totally true. The best trips you can have are the ones you're having just to have a trip, not to get high, to actually, you know, learn something. So, um, I think that I still believe in better living through chemistry. I still believe certain chemicals have their place, but unless I can personally follow the balance and not have it affect my health, then I don't think I should be a good spokesperson for, for using it because I've done a lot of drugs that are bad and addicting and for no good reason but to get high. So, I think that that's not the message that I want to spread anymore. And, uh... You know, I want to put an end to all the stupid myths, and I want to get want to get people away from having to use, you know, addictive or um, physically toxic like chemicals and such. So, hopefully, the tone of my video shifts, and you guys aren't annoyed by that. But um, I apologize if I ever have to take a video down or something because you know that's a uh, a dangerous topic and um now i'm starting to think that it might come back to me come back to haunt me someday so um you guys stay chill i might post a shroom trip video or some shit in the next day or something but um yeah sorry for being super boring on this update but um i'm gonna be back in that game soon so you like the stories share them like and subscribe whatever but um really don't encourage you guys to, to go out and try to get like 25 i know or 2ci or anything like that you know um because although someone might know their dose and like it and personally choose to do it and whatnot it's just it's too sketchy and too dangerous i think that you could easily get some another chemical or if a chemical's been laying around too long, it can biodegrade into a, or degrade into a different chemical. And basically, it's just not it's not natural at all. You know, you don't know the long term effects. So I would say stay away from all that. Just you know, the reports make out make them out to be something that they're not. Like the reports I heard were of like cartoons and like trippy animals, like people turning into animals and like trippy colors and all that shit. And it's nothing like that really. Um, a lot of kids don't get what they ask for. Um, I, I still and I still enjoy a shroom trip and can enjoy like a psychedelic, but it's definitely not what a lot of people hope it's gonna be. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of what goes on inside, not like the visuals. It's it's more the uh, the lesson you kind of catch in your head, the vision, not the actual well, what you're seeing. I don't know. So um, yeah. To whoever watches this, be fucking careful. Don't. Don't fucking, like, do so enough drugs that you die young because, like, the whole reason you probably did a drug was to feel good and, 
you know, if you can find a balance and not use these things every day and be healthy and have like a workout routine, healthy like eating and like just occasional use, if you can find that balance, you're going to be happy in the long run because you're going to live longer, you're going to have more chances to have fun, you're going to, you're going to feel better in the long run, like, um, you can't just keep chasing the high, you got to feel the lowest lows to get the highest highs, so blow your nose, dry your eyes, open roads, waiting, then it's time to drive, anyway, fuck, this video's getting long, I'm not as enthusiastic for someone on Adderall as I should be, I apologize, but, um, yeah, just stay cool, stay cool. I mean, if any of you guys have trip reports that are, like, funny tales and shit, good shit, like, post that shit. Like, I'll share it because if it's funny and whatnot, but... Yeah, so... I love you.